Hello, welcome. Take a moment to read this problem and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, the value of a new car depreciates over time. Sad face, right? If you buy a car, as soon as you drive it off the lot and it's used, it's already gone down in value and over time it depreciates. It gets worth, it's worth less and less over time. So Greg purchased a new car in June 2011. So this is our starting point. Good job, Greg. And this is where time is zero. He buys a new car on that date. The value, okay, the value V, that makes sense, of his car after T years can be modeled by this equation. All right, so here's the equation, log base 0.8 of V over 17,000 equals T. And they want to know, what do they want to know? What is the average decreasing rate of change per year? So average decreasing rate of change, I'm going to underline that for myself, per year of the value of the car from June 2012. So that's, what is that? That's where T is 1, right? Because one year has passed since he bought it, to June 2014, which is where T equals 3, because three years have passed since he bought it. And they want the answer in nearest $10 per year. All right, what's going on in this problem? Well, first of all, and this happens a lot on the regents. Um, you're given a, an equation, and you need to shuffle it around. The reason we know we have to shuffle it around is because they want the value, they're saying, based on the number of years. In other words, t is our input, and v is our output. Time, plug in a number, and then get the, the value of the car. But the way this, this is set up is the opposite. You plug in the value, and it tells you how much time has passed. Okay. So we need to rearrange this. Now, what we can do is, is rearrange it using a definition of logarithms. If you remember, let's say you have log base 2 of 8. What does that equal? Well, it equals 3. Why does it equal 3? It equals 3 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. This relationship between exponential form and the logarithmic definition uh, is something we can definitely use here. In our case, it's 0 0.8 to the power of t equals v over 17,000, which is a lot less friendly. But the idea is the same. And if we want to get v by itself, we do want to get v by itself. Remember, we're trying to plug in t and get v. We multiply both sides by 17,000, and we get this. 17,000 times 0 0.8 to the t equals v. And they want the average rate of change. So in a general sense, what, the, what I'm thinking is, all right, this is an exponential curve. I know it starts at a height of 17,000, because if you plug in 0, it would be 17,000 times 1. 0.8 to the 0 is 1. It starts off, that's the value of the car. Over time, it's going to be worth less. Right? It's going to be some kind of decay curve. And I also know it's going to decay because you've got 0.8 to the power of t. And if you have a number between 0 and 1, and you're raising it to positive exponents, it's going to decay. And what they're really asking us, let's pretend 1 year is here, and then, I don't know, to three years is here. They want to know between these two points, these outputs at one and three years, what's the average rate of change or slope of this line? Now to do this, you could plug in one, you could plug in three, plug them both in, get their outputs and find the slope. What I like to do is use my calculator. It's just a little bit faster, at least for me. So I clear off any old data, I type in 17,000 times 0.8 to the power of x, and then I just go to my table. This gives me the inputs and outputs. So one year, after one year, the car is worth 13,600. And after three years, it's worth 8,704. So I write those numbers down. So these are my points. After one year, this on the graph, at one year, it is at $13,600 in value. And then at three years after the purchase point, we're at $8,704 in value. And then we just find the slope. How do we do that? Slope is delta y or delta x, or the output subtracted. f of 1, write the value after 1 year, minus f of 3, or just the value of the car after 3 years. Sorry, rewrite that. Divided by 2, I keep writing 8,700, over 3 minus 1, which is a 1 minus 3, which is negative 2, excuse me. And then we calculate this. So quit out. OK, 13,600 minus 8,704, enter, divide it by negative 2. All right, so the car has gone down in value $2,448 to the nearest $10.
is 2,450. Now the answer here is positive because they want to know how much it has gone down. In other words, our function tells us it's lost 2,450 in value on average per year. But if you're counting how much you lost, you can count that as a positive number. It's 2,450. You could say you could say you've lost 2,450. If you said you've lost negative 2,450, that's actually going up, right? You'd be losing a negative. All right. Well, anyway, I hope that helps.